fine, I'm just going to do a quick test. I've uh, set the regulator down to around 71 bar, uh, and I've filled the rifle to around 95 bar. So I'm at the bottom end. Uh, see what results we get here, then I'm going to put some more air in and see what it's like higher up the scale. Eleven point two. Ten point eight. Ten point eight. Ten point seven. Ten point seven. Ten point six. Ten point. Six. Ten point eight. Ten point eight. Ten point nine. Okay, so that's ten shots. 95 bar. I'm really happy with that. <clears throat> it's offering just below 11 and that's that's not bad at all. Uh, if we put that to feet per second we've got uh, an average of 552 feet per second higher 564 uh, 547 that's a spread of 17 standard deviation of 4.5 with the 10 shots uh, what I'll do now uh, I'll put some air in the rifle uh, I've got four magazines of uh, 10 rounds so that was 95 bar fill I'll fill it to 120 next uh, then 150 and then 200 and see what we get. Uh, see if there's any much variation. I'm, op I'm hoping it's going to say pretty much the same actually. So uh, the next part of the test will be to fill the rifle to 120 bar. Okay, now I've got 120 bar fill. Same target then. All right, sorry about that. I was having problems with the. Uh only after talking to the phone. So we've got 120 bar fill now. So if we uh, get any results. Five hundred forty seven. Five hundred forty six. 
consistent again. 4.7 standard deviation spread of 15. Alright, so uh, I'll now top the rifle up to uh, 150 bar. This is a 150 bar fill. Second one again. So uh, spread of 17, standard deviation of six out of the ten shots. So uh, the final test now will be torn the bar again. Final part of the test now, 200 bar fill. Now this is when the cylinder is obviously full of air, so without the regulator in it, it'd be a lot harder for the ammo to open. So you'd get, you would get an, a low uh, power initially. But hopefully the regulator will solve that problem. Ten 
point eight. Ten point nine. Ten point nine. Okay, that's say from 95 bar up to 200 bar we're more or less getting the same result here hovering so, around 11 foot pounds just below like. uh, and that's with a 15.9 grain pellet these are all weighed again uh, and it looks like the regulator is doing its job getting the right amount of air in it. So feet second wise, I mean that was the best one of the lot so far. Got an average of 555, high of 559. That's a spread of 7 and a standard deviation of 2.2 .2, which is spot on for 9 shots. Uh, I mean it, I'm, Obviously, I'm doing this too, and I've been getting through the pellets again. It's cost a fortune, really. 16 quid for a tin of pellets, and uh, that's what, more or less what it's costing to tune a rifle. Uh, but uh, I'll have to do a, a total shot string, and uh, we'll see what we get. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with that. Uh, so, yeah, that's. Uh, probably day three of two now. I've not done much to it apart from just uh, drop the pressure on the regulator. I can fine tune the hammer spring a bit if I want to bring it slightly up. Whether that will make much difference I don't know. It's normally once you balance them like this, the hammer spring don't seem to do anything. It's all down to the, uh, the regulator and the valve tension. So uh, that's it for today. It's been raining most of the day. It's right at the end of the day now and the weather's drawing in the night drawing in so I might get down the range tomorrow but apart from that we're almost there so uh, thanks for watching